Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag Tea Tuesday, all written together, no separations, and all lowercase. And you can find what everyone else has posted to today. It is hosted by our friend Patty at Life with Patty and Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. Go over and check and see what they and so many others that post on this and everybody does something different. I am drinking out of my one of my favorite cups. She believed she could and she did and I just have some coffee left over from my breakfast this morning and I'm going to enjoy that. Tell you what is going on a little bit this week. Tomorrow I'm going to be posting on budget meals under $5 a meal I have. I'm pretty sure it will feed four people if you made it enough for the ingredients I have. It was so delicious. Watch and see how I did do that tomorrow. And Thursday, I will be having um, a haul. I think it's a Dollar Tree haul, but don't hold me to that one. And... Um, so I have several things planned for this week, and I hope you enjoy it. Come back every time. Just check out my playlist, and you'll kind of keep up with what's going on. And I never have mentioned this before, but there's a little, you know, the bell. After you've subscribed, if you push that little bell, then it will notify you when I post a video. And I do pretty often. Thought I would go back and do a little bit more out of this book, because my... my journal before journals before I ever had an idea how to even start to make one and I want to go and show you a few more pages in this there's so many interesting uh, articles in here that I'm going to turn this camera down and just show you a few of them and I hope you will enjoy them and while I'm getting up take a look behind me this is a blanket my daughter had made for me i think it was uh shutterfly if i'm not mistaken and this was a long time ago the little boy in this picture is eight years old a book i just pasted over the financial book here is some of the things i want to show you today that i've saved eat your veggies nine ways to add produce to your diet this lady told how she needed to um, lose weight and I get on a, a good eating, so she really hit the veggies hard. This one always buys three or four packages of frozen veggies and keeps them in her freezer. And then in, on a day that she's not in the mood to do anything, she just will open a jar of, of, of tomato sauce and toss some uh, veggies in it with pasta, like really fast. And anytime I make a pizza, she says anytime she makes a pizza, she'll throw some, put some extra broccoli in. This is ideas of how to get more veggies in your diet. And I need to remember that because sometimes I can be a little lax on that subject too. And I do like veggies. This one, she said, chop greens like spinach and kale in the, in the processor and um, the you can also put them in soups and even in meatloaf and meatballs or even in your, in your smoothies. I put kale in my smoothies before and spinach. You know, you really can't taste it. It does turn it green. And then steaming broccoli florets. You see where I've kind of um, I underlined all this. Uh, try steaming uh, florets, broccoli florets with sea salt, freshly cracked pepper, and lemon juice and just a touch of olive oil. And then you can see some of the others. They said about the carrots with them. Um, toss it with a little bit of um, honey and unsalted butter. And then you can roast your own veggies. I know there's a ton of recipes around like that. This one adds their uh, tuna salads. Or to their tuna, you could have a salad or a sandwich. They add carrots, celery, and red onions, and sliced olives, but any kind, or and chopped cucumber. So you start adding all that on, on there, 
put it on a bed of lettuce, or put it in a sandwich. You got some good food. You, this book, I've written things in. My ideas. This one I wrote uh, just ideas of how, of what to have. You know, um, and these were some years ago, too. I wrote sour sauerkraut, just ideas. Or tuna salad on a bed of lettuce. Scallop potatoes with Polish sausage. That would be for my company. Of course, I would eat the potatoes. If the sausage was big enough, I could... Just pass it up. Beans and cornbread, applesauce and tortilla, uh, tortillas with eggs and cheese. That's an easy one, you guys. I used to, whenever I was having company, I would, um, this was one of the menus and made out. Now, I can't tell you I made all this. And usually when they came, they came for two or three days and I had to, uh, this idea of having the uh, chili cheese casserole. You can see what I had, a tossed salad with avocados and homemade dressing. That would have been one meal. That, that was one meal and this was one. Pinto beans and salsa and green, and green veggies. Now this wouldn't all be in one meal, I don't think. It's just my writing here. Butternut squash rosemary onion bread i do have that recipe i should pull it out sometime and make that it's very simple it's a quick bread and then iced tea and impossible coconut pie that's a real easy one too if anybody would like me to make some of these i would be happy to now this we're getting into fashion this one i thought was kind of good because i like this you know how we used to, uh, the old rule was black and blue don't go together. Think of navy as a neutral color. Look at this girl. I don't know if you can see it, but she has a navy blue top on and black pants. And then she has a pink bag. Think of it as neutral. I thought that was cute. This one talks about cauliflower. And some of them, this will tell you some of the benefits of cauliflower. It's a... This paragraph right here would be really good to see. And you can see it's got a lot of great vitamins in there. There's vitamin K. Some people, I think, can't have that so much. And I'm just going to slowly hold this here. So, did you know that? Okay, you guys, I can't say that word. Organic sulfur compound found in and this kind of vegetables, such as cauliflower, has a potential effect to improve your kidney function and blood pressure. And then on this side, it tells how to have the cauliflower mash. You can either buy a head of cauliflower or some people choose to uh, get it in the bag, frozen bag, which would be more expensive most of the time, I think. But here's a good recipe for that. And then cauliflower rice. You can make it and use it instead of uh, using uh, other things. You can put your food on. And then here's a cauliflower pizza crust. I want to show you this. I thought this was good. You know, with lemons, at this time of a year, if you need a gift for somebody and you're loaded with lemons, you could either go to the thrift store and buy you a, a picture like something like this or you may have one or go to Dollar Tree and maybe find one there and they've just wrapped a little wooden spoon and a towel up and gave it as a gift isn't that a great idea that says I bring a bigger basket filled with vegetables that are fresh from my garden a mix of tomatoes, beans, lettuce, and eggplants, and a huge bunch of basil. Now, you know, if you know somebody that you, you're growing a garden and have those, and you want to give a gift to somebody, that's so appreciated. So don't hesitate to get something. You don't have to go out and buy a basket. Find something you have, and you can go that direction. One last one. This will be good for, have you tried this? And I wrote, gotta try this one. Look at this, roasted marshmallows. No more sore throat. 
The summer cold has a fluffy new enemy, the marshmallow. The gelatin in these campfire confections coat the throat and relieves irritation and pain, experts say. Just don't eat them while they're too hot. Okay, you guys, I haven't tried that. If you try this, please tell me. And of course, this might, if you have to watch your sugar intake, be sure and be careful with that. And I'm going to go for this time. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this Tea Tuesday. Check and see what everybody else is doing today. Thank you, Patty and Kathy. You guys come back next time. And I pray God blesses you special this whole week. Keep warm. Keep smiling and God bless you.